Is there is there a number that you recommend based on any research you've done for how many hours we we can work straight until it's time to take a break? We should be breaking is it yeah. for everyone. It's different for everyone too. It, it is different for everybody, and why it's different is it depends on how much we enjoy what we're doing. <laughs> and so, if you really like find what you do tedious, you need more breaks because you ex exhaust your your mental resources a lot quicker. Whereas, you know, if you're in that flow state, you're fired up about what you're doing, uh, focus is effortless, you could probably work for two, three hours a at a time until you need a, a bio break or a break for a, a cup of tea or coffee or something. And so it depends on the work that you do. But the, re the best research that I've found um, shows that we should be on break for about 25% of the day. And that sounds like a lot, uh, but it's equivalent to a one-hour lunch and two, I believe, 15-minute breaks uh, the rest of the day as well. And so it's entirely reasonable, um, but all I do is I just track how long I, I work for, and then I multiply that by 25% whenever I feel like taking a break, so I know I'll actually be recharged. And um, there, there's a, a, a great company that puts out surveys related to this called Desk Time, and they look at the time analysis of their most productive users. And throughout the course of time, the amount of breaks people take differ, differ, the length of the breaks differ, but what the most productive people have in common is they break for about 25% of their day. So sounds like a lot, but that thinking time, right, that we were talking about, that reflection time, that goal consideration time, um, you'll make that time back for that reason.